allow me to bless this cream gobbler from the passage of cheek slaying Prometheans. Who gives a fuck? Men. Men give a fuck about body count. It's one of the most important factors when it comes to deciding if a woman is a good fit for you and your future. The higher the body count, the lesser the chance that she will be loyal. The lower the body count, the greater the chances that the woman is someone who has self-respect and dignity and will be a good partner. My controversial opinion of the day is I think it should be illegal for people under the age of 25 to date for longer than two years. I think it is simply unnecessary and unfair. All of the best candidates are always taken by people they've been dating since they were literal minors, like children. Therefore, they don't know any better because they don't know any different. Um, I think it creates codependency issues. I think it will create an identity crisis later in life. I think we should be spending our early 20s getting to know ourselves, exploring, sharing the wealth. Let's figure out the best pairs. No reason to pair up so early. I don't think that's very fair. And then after 25, you can do whatever you want. And when would these women understand that their 20s would not last forever? Wow. So this woman has her concept completely upside down. She says that people should not date below the age of 25 for more than two years. Basically, giving them the right to jump from one person to another and explore their fantasies. Seriously, the delusions of some of these women are beyond hilarious. Today's women have an overinflated perception of their own worth that has nothing to do with the real value of they have in the intimacy marketplace. And these women are the prime example of this. For the most part, women only date and marry up the socioeconomic spectrum. If it's an alpha, you can tell that they merely want to have a brief affair. Nothing will stop them from spending the night with a recent prisoner if he's alpha enough. But again, hypergamy dictates that they only date and marry up in the long run. He's got to treat me like a princess and he's got to be a Millie. Be me. Millionaire. What do y'all bring to the table? If I love you, I'm a ride or die. Look at you, a doing pretty better. bum. A pretty bum okay. with nothing to offer to nobody. If he got like a life sentence in jail, like you gonna stick beside him or you gonna leave? Hell no. You gonna I'm not built for that. This girl. As a male in the intimacy market, you must realize that today's women have an excessively entitled feeling of self worth and think they are worth far more than their actual market value. Women find that really difficult. They find it extremely difficult to embrace the possibility that one day they could run into a wall and realize, well, that was an eye-opening experience. They generally come to the realization and say, I need to have fewer expectations at some point. Regardless of how much money women make, they need to have a more realistic idea of their worth in the world. They don't share it with guys. Men are ignorant. We share our pot of gold with women who do not consistently share their pot of wealth with men. They anticipate meeting someone who is more fortunate and of course, checks off all these boxes and shares his gold for the rest of her life. He must be humorous, kind, loving, kind, accept my children as his own, alpha, competent, know how to change a tire, and know how to do this and that, are just a few of the expectations that women appear to have, of men. It's as if, they have a list of 200 conditions you must fulfill, before you are allowed to date a lady in her late 30s, who also comes with children. As much as women want their ideal man to have a certain personality, it is simply the result of social conditioning from Disney and Hollywood films. It's all about material stuff, consumerism, and materialistic notions that revolve all around us. Instead of a man who manages his finances well, Chad and Tyrone are more exciting for the average woman. Most likely, your current vehicle serves your needs well, negating the need for a second one. You'd rather invest in something else or save the money you'd be using for the car payments. Men are quite straightforward, however, women often become weary of their purchases quickly and crave new things. Do not forget that women make up the majority of consumers in the economy. So, it makes sense that they always have enormous bags with them when they visit a mall. Of course, if the guy falters at any moment, the girl has the right to consider other options. I'm not denying that. Some women continue to ask, where the good men are despite all the evidence urging males to avoid the dating scene the good men are not in outer space or on a barren island 
you were unaware of them even though they were and are in front of you. I firmly believe that women should learn how to appreciate being alone rather than hopping from man to man and feeling frustrated that they can't find a partner, just as many men are learning to do. This is why MegTow is so powerful. A good dose of isolation and reflection would be beneficial. Instead of focusing on themselves to improve what they have to offer, they would rather fantasize about the qualities they want in a partner. Although these women frequently voice their complaints, do they make every effort to improve themselves? No freaking way. Men are realizing they don't need to put women on pedestals. It's not enough to just work out and put on more makeup, particularly if they do it after running into the wall. Women only need to keep their beauty at the age of 18, whilst guys are literally nobodies. Men are beginning to realize the truth and are no longer ready to treat women like idols. Women shouldn't be exalted, since they're just like everyone else. And they also make mistakes, just like everyone else. For instance, thinking that making a guy feel good in bed will keep him around. For instance, thinking that making a guy feel good in bed will keep him around. She, therefore, attempts to contain Chad when he shows there in the expectation that he will turn out to be the man she has always wanted. On the other side, Chad succeeds in getting what he wants, including some rapid action and raising her death toll. Contrary to several of the great individuals she met in her 20s, Chad does not desire commitment. Now that she's been run through by several men, the good gentlemen don't want to enter and tidy up the mess. What matters is her emotional baggage, not how she glides on top of a person. It is not the duty of a guy to serve as a lifetime therapist for a woman who's been making horrible choices since entering adulthood. Don't allow today's women to undermine your capacity for emotional stability. That is the most priceless thing there is. I wish you much success, but now, I want to know what you think about modern women who only want the best people and only provide closeness. Have you ever encountered a woman who meets those criteria? Didn't think so. Women want equality, but can't stand it when the truth hits their faces like it hits ours. Divorce is the leading cause of bankruptcy. If it involves a small business, and the business founder can't afford to buy out the spouse, the spouse becomes a joint partner in the company. Their lack of experience making business decisions has put companies under, with all the employees losing their means of support as well. If a woman marries rich, she gains the right to live in his lifestyle, and he loses that right. There is no financial risk, greater than marriage. Men are becoming risk-averse when it comes to their quality of life. Marriage is temporary, and divorce is for life. I've said this before, so many times. Guys have to wake up and start protecting themselves. Don't sign a woman's name to anything. If you get her a car, put it in your name only. No joint account. Don't share pins or passwords. Don't give them a credit card. Keep an eye out for them opening a credit card in your name. Security cameras, tiny hidden cameras, to cover everything except the bathroom, even your own room. Before marriage, prenups have a contract that says, if she leaves you for anything less than abuse, she gets nothing. Film her signing, so she can't say she was under duress, or being forced, drugged, or whatever else she may come up with. Protect yourself. Women are the ones leaving. It's easier for them to start over and find a house to stay in, protect themselves, and what is yours. Thanks for watching. The Circle of Kings. As always, we're looking forward to your support. So please hit the like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to the channel to stay updated with everything all kings like yourself need to know.